A very, very good afternoon to you. And a happy New Year's Eve. It is Billy Hoy with you right the way across the northwest. Now, from Sir Ian McKellen through to Helen Skelton, Morgan Wise, Jody Coma, and many, many more, just to name but a few. We have had our fair share of celebrities uh, who have hailed from our northwest area. Uh, you may have seen the latest Chicken Run film. Dawn of the Nugget, what a great title, uh, which is on Netflix at the moment. Um, if you have, you would have enjoyed a fabulous character called Frizzle, who is a scouse chicken. Uh, it shines another positive spotlight on our local area and also brings the word kidder into the mainstream. Joining us now is the person behind Frizzle's voice, the fabulous Jody Sedgwick Davis. Jody, how are you? Josie, even. <laughs> Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? It's great to see you in here. It's just because I've mentioned Jodie Comer. I've just said no, that. No, I get that all the time. I'm always like, it's juicy. It's juicy. It's juicy. So I do apologise. How are you today? You I'm really right? good, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you all ready for partying tonight then? Do you want? I'm the designated driver. Oh, are you? Yeah, but um, that's good for me. I okay. want to start the new year fresh. So it is partying rather than the quiet one then? It's gonna well, be it's me bit... aunties, but we've got loads of games planned and stuff. But there is children now in our family, so right, it's very okay. like child-related. <laughs> so I've just mentioned Frizzle. And uh, frizzle the chicken. And uh, how funny is it? Because the amount of times I get asked, uh, I don't think I've got that strong a Scouse accent, but it's, I can tell I'm definitely from Merseyside. And, you know, you get it, go outside the area and say, say chicken. And they go, why are you asking me to say chicken? <laughs> chicken one, can I yeah, yeah, yeah. Or purple one. Purple chicken is, is another one, isn't it? So it's so funny that sort of like, you're the voice of frizzle, the Scouse chicken in yeah. uh, the latest... Uh, Chicken Run uh, chi yeah, films, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, tell us about Frizzle, the character, first of all. How would oh, you best describe her? Frizzle, she is a little stick of dynamite. She's just this happy-go-lucky little hen that doesn't really know what she's doing. Very much like me in real life, if you've met me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, she's so, she's so lovable, but also like very naive and vulnerable at the same time. And by end, the end of the film, I feel like everyone is, you're rooting for her. You want her to win. Yeah. I'm not going to give any spoilers okay. away, but you just, you want Frizzle to come out of it in the right end. <laughs> so it's, um, how did it all come about? You know, was it like, did you see uh, an advert for an audition? Did somebody see you in something else? How did it come about? Yeah, you're in a, an international <laughs> film that's on Netflix. Now, it? How did it all come about? You know what? It's been the longest process of right. my life. So this is about four years ago when it right. all started. Okay. And it was the, I think just as the pandemic was happening. Right, okay. So it was in the middle of that. Yeah. And I hadn't done much acting because it's all been shut down totally. So I sort of put it to the, the back burner for a bit and I was just like trying to apply for jobs, get a little jobs there, but nothing was happening because of the pandemic. And I remember I got this audition through and me being me, I didn't even read it. I just like, I looked, I was like, I've got an audition, do the self-tape, bam, did it in one, sent it off, didn't even brush my hair. And then a few <laughs> weeks later, I got a recall for it. And obviously right. I was like, oh, this is sick. Read it and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, to my partner at the time, I was like, what? Have you seen who this is for? This is for Ardman. Yeah. And it was amazing. And then I went through a six month um, audition process. Like it was quite long. Six months? Yeah, it was really long. Right. And then... um. The day that I got the phone call off my agent was just like, I'd, I'd got to the point where I was like, I'm, I've not got this. Like, this right. isn't mine. Okay. And she rang me and she was like, you've got the job. And I was with my friend at the time. <laughs> and my friend was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Joe, what's wrong? Yeah. And um, I was crying, obviously. And then um, I put the phone down. And I tell this story all the time because it's hilarious. And I rang my mum. And a few days before, I'd interviewed for like Home and Bargain. Right, so okay. So I rang her and I was like, mum. I've got that job. I've got it. Uh, and she was like, oh, my <laughs> weird juice. You've got the job at home and bargain. And before I knew it, she would ran off, put the phone down, was right. telling me mum, me dad about it. Yeah. And I was just at the other end of the phone like, no. It's stop, not that one. Yet. Stop, not that job, the acting job. <laughs> yeah, it was mad. It was crazy. It's hard to believe now that it was four years ago. Almost. It's a long process, that, isn't it? It's a long, long yeah. process. Um, so what was your acting career like before that? I mean... You know, it's that's a it's a real massive break, isn't it, to get into a it's it's an Ardman film. It, they're so <laughs> famous. You're working alongside literally like A-list, yeah, 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 legends, like A-list celebrities, right the way through. So, what what about your acting career before that? So, I started acting when I was about 16 years old, and I came out of school having not done fabulous at school. I didn't even know what I wanted to do. And everyone said to me, oh, I used to work at hairdressers randomly. And um, everyone used to say to me, oh, you should do stage and, and theatre and stuff like that. And I'd done gymnastics for a while, so we'd always performed. And um, I remember hearing Ricky Tomlinson on the radio advertising his drama school. 
and I literally typed in right. the number as he read it out, rang it and was like, I'd like to come to your drama school, please. And then like a week later, I had an audition, yeah. got in and that, it, it all just sort of rolled from there. I did two years at college and then I joined YEP, so the Young Everyman and Playhouse, yes. yeah. which was amazing. I was there for six years. I learned everything from Chris Tomlinson and Matt Rotter, who were my tutors. They were brilliant. And um, that's sort of just how it all went on. And I performed probably in every single theatre in Liverpool, especially the Lantern. If everyone remembers the Lantern, the Lantern is a legendary theatre. I spent my entire early 20s there. And I owe so much to that theatre. Like, I adore it. So it's a wonderful, massive break then. You've done loads of stuff locally, loads of stuff on theatre. You've, you know, sort of treaded boards and everything. Done all of that. Big break. Now, something that I'm going to ask you (laughs) about. I watched the I watched the, um, this like Laser Chicken Run yeah. with uh, with my fifteen year old son, and I showed him a picture, and I showed him a picture, one of your publicity photos, and he said to me, "Frizzle looks just like her." <laughs> Did they actually model Frizzle on you? Do you know what? No, they didn't. They'd already made the chicken. Had they? But when I went into when I had my first recall audition, which was over like a Zoom sort of thing, yeah. it was a pandemic, so we were still sure. in the Zoom process. The director was like, oh, it's like it's meant to be. Because I just looked identical to her. So it's worked you do look out very mad. Similar. Like, but no, she was pre made. But really? I didn't know that until recently because I always thought, oh, they definitely, they based her on me. Look. Was it always meant to be a Scouse chicken? <laughs> yeah, she was always Scouse. Always meant to always be. Always was meant to be right. Scouse, yeah. <laughs> That's just amazing. So, what about process wise? I've seen some of this stuff when you see little documentaries on the Ardman stuff and everything. Do they record the dialogue first? Is that what happens? Do you sort of like. Or, or is it which way round does it happen? So it's like hand hand in hand, so at oh, the right, same okay. time. So I oh, recorded right. a lot of the film right. about four years ago. And then, no, not four years ago, about three and a half years ago. Sure. And then we edited it, but basically the animators would sit with headphones on with my voice just playing the same over and over and over and over and over again. Right. I'm so sorry for them, all my words. When I went to the studio, I was like, sorry, <laughs> you must be sick of my voice. Um, but yeah, that's so it was a, like a lot as we the film got made. Right. I sort of went in and we did re edits. So we changed a load of lines, loads of stuff got added in, etc. But it was to fit with what the animators were doing. So d- you saw Frizzle then, you saw what the character looked like beforehand. I didn't see it till I got the part. Right, okay. And then what about the final, you know, sort of like, was it, did you see bits of it before the premiere or was it, was it sort of like a real surprise or what, what, what happened? Was so I was lucky enough to, I went to the studios in Bristol, right. Ardman Studios, which is amazing. <laughs> like, honestly, you should have seen these sets. I was just like, they were like, don't touch anything. I was like, oh my God, don't say that. I'm going to touch everything now. And um, it was brilliant. And that's where I saw the first ever rushes of the film. So little yeah, clips of the film sure. with myself in it. But it's so hard to watch yourself as an animated chicken. I was just like, oh my, what? <laughs> but it was um, amazing. I was mind blown by what they do with them, that animation. Did the animators look at your mannerisms as well? Was it not just the voice? Did they look at how you move? And did they look at all of that as well? So when we were recording in the booth, yeah. you have like, th- I think it's about three cameras set okay. up around, yeah. And they're getting your, yeah, so all facial the- expressions, oh, hands and everything like that, just to help them so they can you know, animate the mouths to suit the words the way that we would say it in Liverpool and stuff like that. <laughs> it's just amazing, the whole it's process. Crazy. I bet it felt like a little bit, a little bit of a dream. You, you stood there in the booth, you got the cameras around you. It's, it's an Ardman sort of like production. Did you think, you know, sort of like, did you have to pinch yourself a few times? Every single time, not even joking yet, every time, because it took so long. You know, I had lots of people asking me how my acting career was going, but I yeah. wasn't allowed to tell anyone for two years. So I kept you going, say. oh, nothing, I'm not doing very well. Nothing's <laughs> going on. So when it came out, me, I just fell off because I was be able to go, ah! That's just <laughs> absolutely amazing. Now, what about working with these A-listers? What was that like? Crazy, like insane. I didn't know who else, who else because we all recorded separately. Yeah. So I didn't meet a lot of them till press stuff that we right, did. Right, okay. And, um... When I saw the cast list, because I wasn't allowed to know no one knew until it was literally released. Okay. So when I saw it, my mouth just dropped. And I just remember <laughs> being like, I knew there was going to be boss people in it. Of course. But oh my word, like... So film-wise, what's your favourite part of the film, would you say? That you... That, Do you know what? You... My, my favourite part is okay. when... I don't want to ruin it, but okay, when... just give us a hint. When Ginger and the team... Yeah. Go and do some saving, some saving lives. It's there a great bit. That's yeah, a great it's a brilliant bit. bit. I love yeah. the way. It's the animation, though, and the way they've used certain things to create, like, tools and weapons. I That's just right. think it's, it's so genius. It's very, very clever. 
the whole, the whole, the whole film. As the first one was, the chicken one, the first one yeah. was really good. Amazing. This one sort of like definitely matches, if not surpasses it, sort of like for <laughs> humour and for inventiveness as well. So for you then, has this been a little bit of a sort of like a, a springboard for you? What's next for you, if you're allowed to say? Well, I'm not. I'm not allowed to say. Um, but there is. A, you will see me on your TV in the right. next in the next year. Um, yeah, but that's literally all I'm allowed to right, say. Okay. My you'll have to when you're allowed to say. You'll have to come back on the show and oh, tell us all 100%. about it. it that that would be uh, fantastic. Now, finally, because I know you can't say any more about that. Yeah. Um, can I have a little? Can I have a little chat and say hello to Frizzle, please? Of course you can. <laughs> so, uh, hi Frizzle. Um, when will we be seeing you on our screens again? Do you think, or will we be seeing you on our screens? Hi Billy, thanks for having me. I love it in here. Hopefully, you'll be seeing me in the spring. Oh, in the spring, that'll be really, 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 really good. And what do you think? Do you feel quite proud that you brought the word "kidder" onto <laughs> the uh, <laughs> onto the international stage? I love it, kidder. It's my favourite thing. <laughs> and finally, have you got a New Year message for all of us? Oh, from Frizzle. You know what, guys? If you haven't got a bucket, it doesn't matter. Just follow your dreams. If anyone tells you no, forget them. Do it anyway. You got this. Thank you so much, Frizzle. A happy New Year to you and a happy New Year as well. Josie said Richard Davis, thank you very much. Thank you so much.